the myth that the addict is a weak-willed person, okay? It, in my opinion, is a myth that the addict is a weak-willed person because the addict is, is the kind of person who will choose their addiction knowing that it's destroying their health, their career, their welfare, their family, everything, all right? And their families yelling at them to get off it, their parents, their wife, their girlfriend, their children maybe, and they will not stop because they want that thing. They want that drug or they want that alcohol. And it's really only a strong-willed person who puts their needs, their wants, a very strong-willed, very selfish, self-oriented person who puts their want above all the other things in their life, no matter what. Like your family's crumbling around you, but you are still going and gambling away your rent money. Or you're still going and for that drink at the bar or that heroin needle or whatever that nasty addiction is. This is a, in my opinion, a strong-willed person. Okay, you might not think it right now, but hear me out, all right? Because the weak-willed people don't get addicted to things. They, they... Their idea of life is just, they just go through unseen and they do as they're told. And a weak-willed person is really just a repository for a strong-willed person. It's just sit there, do that, push those papers, you know, sweep that floor. And they don't have a strong sense of I want. They can give up something very easily and they don't get addicted to anything in the first place because they don't have that strong sense of I want. They just have that strong sense of I accept and they just wait for someone to tell them what to do. So if their family was telling them even a few times not to, you know, go drink, they would probably stop at that point. And they probably wouldn't even get the habit in the first place because they don't have that strong sense of want, that strong sense of I'm unhappy. I want to change this. I want pleasure. I want this stronger than other people. Okay. It's strong-willed people who do that. The weak-willed person just pushes paper in an office for 40 years and doesn't think about it, doesn't question it, um, doesn't think why someone else is giving them orders, doesn't think why the owner is the one who's making all the money and they're making a tiny fraction of that. They just accept that's what you're supposed to do. They accepted orders in school and they just go through the motions. And that is their their life. You know, They might have a few drinks. They might have a couple of glasses of coffee a day. That's it but they, they are not addicts per se, okay? An addict, an addict to me is a strong-willed person. And you have to ask, so if you've got someone who's strong-willed, how or why do they get addicted to something that's hurting them? The first part of that equation is pain, all right? If you look at what the Buddha says, it says that all existence is suffering, okay? Everyone is suffering in some form or the other. The entire, my entire website, all my strategies are to ease your suffering, ease the suffering of existence with the final ending of the suffering being, um, enlightenment, okay. Or communion with God, whatever you want to call it, you know, the Buddhahood or, or Christ consciousness or whatever. To me, that's the ultimate end. But since uh, I don't, I, I'm not a Buddha, um, I can't really speak about that from, from my perspective, but I can speak about the stuff that I've made my life a lot happier. And that's that's all I'm, I'm giving to you guys is strategies to be happier. And happiness means easing the suffering of existence. And you can have a really high, happy, high quality of life when you apply your will. The problem is the strong-willed person who is in pain happens to choose the wrong application for their will. So they choose something that is going to hurt them. They have pain, right? They have suffering. But their remedy for that suffering actually ends up making this suffering worse and puts them in more pain, okay? They choose the wrong remedy. They choose the wrong medicine. They choose the wrong lifestyle strategy, all right? Doing heroin is the wrong lifestyle strategy. Being an alcoholic is the wrong lifestyle strategy. Um, gambling is the wrong lifestyle strategy, okay? Whatever high you get um, from that, you know, Alcohol or that uh, heroin needle is small compared to the pain that's coming with it. Okay, now alcohol is something you can, if you if you don't have a problem with, you can do on occasion and still get the benefits from it without the major problems. But if you are the person, if if you that is something that you get addicted to, then the pain by far will outweigh um, the benefits from it, and the pain that you're actually running from will be made worse by the addiction, okay? 
So what happens is they choose the wrong solution, all right? And this is through either um, a moment of weakness or it is through uh, not having the proper guidance. You know, the guy's 15 years old and he's around the wrong crowd. He's of a father and he falls into the wrong thing. And, and by the time he gets to become a man, he's already addicted to that thing. So there's a number of situations why it could happen or an overwhelming amount of pain. Um, you know, maybe a relative dies and a business goes out of, you go out of business and you break up with your girlfriend and, and all these things happen at once makes the person choose the wrong solution. Whatever it is, they choose the wrong solution. Okay. And they, they choose it and they hang on to it strongly because the strong willed person just does not accept just being in pain, just not just take the beating. He's, he's not just going to sit there for 40 years being a janitor, just accepting that that's his station. Okay. The strong willed person will not and cannot do that. I could not be a janitor for 40 years. It'd be impossible for me. It'd be absolutely impossible for me to just take that without breaking my broomstick over someone's head. So the strong willed person fights back, refused to accept. And the weak, weak willed person just takes it, right? They just take, the pain and the suffering and they just, you know, live in basically quiet desperation, but they don't move forward to really solve that problem aggressively. The strong willed person does it, but the person who develops a bad addiction does it in the wrong particular way. Okay. So they do it and they don't let go. They don't let go of that, that alcohol. Everyone's telling them no, they don't let go because they're like, fuck you. I'm in pain, that's my little pleasure, and no one's taking that from me. And they will do it to the exclusion of whatever anyone says, whatever society says, they will just go because their want is that strong. 